Hello friends, welcome to TNPSC 360 degree. Today we are going to start the general science series. So in that we are going to start the human respiratory system. So this general science forms an important part of NEET, TET, KESET, UPSC, KPSC, KS, TNPSC and nursing. So we will cover all the important systems starting from cerebral uh, CNS cerebral system that is the central nervous system to the excretory system in the human body section wise okay so this is based on the NCERT books and the state syllabus books okay we will cover with detailed explanation how much ever is required for the exam we will not go into depth but we will cover only as much is required for the exams okay so come let us go into the video so what is the definition of respiration? What is the meaning of respiration? So process of exchange of oxygen from the atmosphere with the carbon dioxide produced by the cells is called breathing commonly known as respiration. So the exchange of the oxygen with the carbon dioxide which is produced by the aerobic respiration of the cells is known as respiration or breathing. So the chapter outline will be like this. Okay respiratory organs, mechanism of breathing, exchange of gases, transport of gases, regulation of respiration and disorders of respiration. So you have to take the book, the state syllabus book or the NCRT book and you have to read it once and then see this video or together then you can make the notes or points whichever you feel important. Okay. So, so come let us go into the respiratory organs. So the human respiratory system, it consists of two lungs, okay. It is placed in the pulmonary cavity. So it starts with epiglottis, you can see epiglottis, larynx, trachea, then pleural members, membranes. So the lungs are covered by double layered pleural membranes with this yellow thing which you can see is the pleural membranes with the pleural fluid in between. So why it is having the pleural fluid? So it prevents the friction of the lungs, okay? To reduce the friction, it acts as a lubricant. And this small sac-like structures is known as alveoli. And the it is the terminal part of the respiratory system. Okay, and bronchiole. So bronchiole is the, it comes before alveoli. So the, the bronchiole ends into alveoli. So the diaphragm, the muscular, thick muscular organ diaphragm which separates the respiratory cavity from the abdominal cavity, the pulmonary cavity and abdominal cavity. Then the lungs, then the cut end of the ribs and the bronchus. So in this picture you can see it everything clearly okay the bronchus the trachea continues into the bronchus and it comes it separates into two bronchus okay bro then it computes uh, primary bronchioles secondary bronchioles and tertiary bronchioles and later into the alveoli okay so this is the human respiratory system so it starts from nose from nose it enters into the pharynx the pharynx has three parts okay nasopharynx oropharynx and nasopharynx oropharynx okay human respiratory system then then from there it reaches the epiglottis larynx then trachea then bronchia bronchus two bronchioles then primary secondary and tertiary bronchioles then alveoli okay this is the diagram which can use which you can easily draw okay in the examinations so come let us see into the details okay what i told you before we'll see into the detail so the larynx which protects the which protects the sound box okay then it, there is trachea which the ring like structured semi half okay semicircle ring like structure which protects the respiratory passage so then there is the sinuses nasal cavity mouth then this is the pharynx which i said okay epiglottis which acts as a protective 
uh, structure to prevent the entering of the foreign objects into the respiratory cavity then there is larynx okay so larynx divides into trachea then bronchus okay then the bronchioles primary secondary and tertiary bronchioles this bronchiole finally divides into thin sac like structures known as alveoli where the uh, particular exchange of the oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place between the uh, this deoxygenated blood and the oxygenated blood okay so this was the explanation of the respiratory system next is the respiratory organs in various organisms so in a flat worm in a flat worm this is a flat worm the exchange of the carbon dioxide and oxygen takes place through the body wall itself it doesn't has any specialized respiratory organs but in a fish it is through the gills okay it is through the gills it it causes the exchange of the carbon dioxide and oxygen so in an insect okay or a terrestrial arthropod or any insect it is the tracheoles okay the tracheoles are the respiratory organs okay in a human being it is a mammal it is a lung okay as i say there is the exchange of the carbon dioxide between the blood vessels and the terminal alveoli okay this is the respiratory organs so in a flat worm it is the body wall in a fish it is the gills in an insect it is the tracheoles or the spiracles in a mammal it is a alveoli so what is respiration as it is in detailed okay breathing or the pulmonary ventilation by which atmospheric vent air is drawn in and carbon dioxide rich alveolar air is released out so the air we breathe out is known as alveolar air and the air we take in is known as atmospheric air so diffusion of the oxygen and carbon dioxide across the alveolar membrane so alveolar membrane is the thin membrane which is very thin approximately only one cell thickness so it there is the direct exchange of the oxygen and carbon dioxide based on the pressure gradient that is the concentration gradient uh, across the membrane so in the oxygenated blood there is more oxygenation oxygen so it moves from the lungs into the blood okay from the alveolar blood alveolar sac to the blood okay and the carbon dioxide which is more in the deoxygenated blood which comes into contact with the alveoli moves into the alveolar sac okay there is transport of gases by the blood diffusion of the oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and tissues utilization of oxygen by the cells for catabolic reactions and resultant release of carbon dioxide this is cellular respiration okay this is the mechanism of respiration if they ask mechanism of respiration or the steps in the respiration so what is the process of respiration okay for all those questions you can write this steps okay so i will defer explain to you now the how inspiration that is the breathing in and breathing out takes place so when we breathe in inspiration is the mechanism of breathing in how the air enter the lungs okay so when we breathe in the ribs and sternum is raised and the diaphragm which separates the pulmonary cavity and the abdominal cavity is contracted so this leads to the volume of the thoracic cavity is increased so this leads to the in uh, decrease in the pressure gradient so always the air moves from uh, uh, pre increase in the pressure gradient so there is always the air moves from low pressure area to high pressure area so it is moving from external atmosphere into the lungs so this is inspiration so what are the four steps the ribs and sternum are raised number 1 number 2 diaphragm is contracted the volume of the thorax is increased and finally this leads to the air entering into the lungs so this is inspiration what is expiration expiration is 
the ribs and sternum is returned to the original position and the diaphragm relaxed and arched upwards and this leads to the re reduction in the volume of the pulmonary cavity okay so this leads to the explanation of the air from the lungs into the external atmosphere so what are the four steps ribs and sternum relax to the return to the original position diaphragm is relaxed and arched upwards volume of the thorax decreased that is number 3 and thus with the exchange of the pressure gradient the air is expelled from the lungs so this is the explanation of the mechanism of the expiration so if they ask how the mechanism of breathing you should write the previously told steps and this diagram so this diagrams you can write in the exams okay so this was the explanation about the mechanism of breathing steps of breathing and respiratory organs so in the next section we will see the next part of the human respiratory system explanation so if you like the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the regular notifications thank you